Well, just when I actually was starting to think maybe I need to be cautious here and not um, overplay, even be accused of hyping the um, upcoming five-day period of weather over the British Isles, but the Met Office, lo and behold, have now named um, Storm Dudley, which will affect the British Isles during the latter half of Wednesday into Thursday, and they've also named Storm Eunice that will affect the British Isles during the course of Friday. Thanks for clicking on to the Monday edition of Vogan's European Outlook. We've got one system exiting off the UK um, playing field and uh, we've got um, uh, all our eyes getting drawn to the west out over the Atlantic here. We've got a very powerful jet stream at 240 miles per hour in excess of 240 miles per hour um, extending out from the North American continent with a big clash of air masses generating those very powerful winds but it's a uh, what is going on underneath that jet stream that is very uh, eye-catching indeed from a meteorological point of view we have got um the dynamics in place to produce some pretty extreme areas of low pressure the first one will arrive wednesday the second will arrive on friday here but uh, you notice here um as of um this evening we do find ourselves in the void between low pressure, one system exiting, another system approaching from the west. We've got them um, some clear skies. Winds will lighten for a time. We may see some patchy frost in places. But uh, it's um, as we press through the course of tomorrow and um, as dawn breaks, we will have uh, the return of some messy weather uh, with a 960 millibar area of low pressure up towards Greenland. It's the associated frontal system that will push through the British Isles during the course of tomorrow. And then it's all eyes on um, the development of low pressure that will become Storm Dudley uh, during the course of tomorrow. Uh, you know, still at, uh, what, 12 o'clock, uh, we've got um, two uh, centres, one uh, at 977 millibars, the other at 989 millibars. And uh, what is going to be interesting is we will see these two features, um, you know, essentially uh, kind of separate. We've got one piece that goes through Ireland and through the British Isles. The other piece, you notice here, it's actually almost kind of catching up with the frontal system that uh, initially pushes through the UK during tomorrow morning. But it's all eyes on this feature here um, because what we're going to see is the rapid uh, deepening of this circulation here it will scoot along the uh, powerhouse jet stream very quickly indeed it will deepen um, as it ingests air it also sees a uh, divergence aloft here we've got you know complex ingredients and meteorology all playing out here to produce uh, quite a beautiful area of low pressure yet it will be a, bi a big problem to the UK as we go through the the latter half of tomorrow here so this is at the uh, 1500 hours on wednesday we've got the uh, all the mess coming through the uk but the core of the low the strongest of the winds will remain offshore it will probably be once we hit dark that uh, things get very very interesting and probably quite nasty indeed uh, strongest winds in the southern flank we could see 60 70 80 mile an hour winds even in inland areas and um, coastal areas exposed areas in particular of the western isles the western mainland and uh, you know it winds in excess of 85 to 90 miles per hour and over the high ground we could see winds well in excess of 100 possibly 120 130 miles an hour over places such as Cairngorm, for example but this system all the while is battering the uk on wednesday uh, it's all eyes on the next system uh, to the south of the UK. Now, what this is going to do is it's further south. So it's in a warmer region of the Atlantic, as stated in yesterday's video. It is going to have some slightly different dynamics in place uh, with this more southerly track. But what it's doing is it's actually, notice this little tail of convection extending from the system down into the, the tropics here. What that's going to do is it's going to tug and pull very warm, very moist air into the circulation. At the same time, it's also pulling some exceptionally cold air straight out of the Baffin Straits. So all the ingredients are coming together very nicely. At the very same time, we're actually seeing 
a, a split in the jet stream at 40,000 feet here. If you notice here, if we look at the jet stream winds here for that period, notice here we've got this actual uh, divorce in the jet here. So we've got one arm um, you know, facing from a kind of southwest to northeasterly direction. We've got the next uh, piece further back that's extended from the northwest to the southeast here and we've got all sorts of dynamics coming together here which is you know potentially making for a, a fairly rare scenario here meteorologically speaking and over the next 24 hours i do endeavor to kind of look at this in more detail and try and explain to you exactly what's going on what are we seeing in these charts but it does have the potential to be a very 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 nasty event um on friday here when you're seeing certain things coming together, uh, it doesn't bode well for the southern flank of Ireland, uh, Wales and England as we go towards Friday. But certainly uh, the northern half of the British Isles, it looks like it's going to be battered by Dudley. The second uh, half of the week, um, Storm Eunice comes into play. It comes up from the southwest. Exactly where it comes in is going to be key in terms of where the strongest winds are going to be. But, uh, you know, we could be talking about widespread gusts in excess of 65, to 75, possibly 85 miles per hour. Even the south coast of Wales, England, we could see gusts in excess of 90 to 100 miles per hour based on what I'm seeing here. And, uh, you know, I'm trying my very best to not overplay this as we go forward here. I'm just basing it purely on what I'm seeing at the moment here. So Dudley scoots on out, uh, eventually conditions ease. We've got some very cold, uh, very gusty conditions on the back side of that feature. But it's on, then our eyes and attention is fully drawn to uh, developing the storm units here. Look at the tail here that's uh, developing here off the system. That is very interesting indeed. It's catching my attention really here because it looks as if we've got, almost got like a low-level jet trying to extend from the subtropics into that system and feeding the energy while aloft we've got the jet stream coming in from a northwesterly direction ahead of it um bearing in mind it's split in the upper atmosphere it, it, you know we've got ahead of it winds coming out of the southwest to northeasterly direction here so very complex scenario but uh, this could be folks the the storm uh, the strongest uh, storm in, in a couple of decades, believe it or not, here. There, I don't, I'm being very cautious about making mention of the 87 storm, but uh, it is very, very, very interesting here to see how this develops. And it actually develops and continues to deepen as it pushes across the British Isles here. Notice here, by the time we reach, this is on Friday at the 1500 hours, we've got the centre of the low uh, just to the east of Fraserburgh at 963 millibars. On the back side of it, we've got severe gales likely, and um, we could have blizzard conditions as well. Plenty of cold air getting sucked into that system as well uh, during the latter half of Friday here. And um, it's out over the North Sea, 962 millibars uh, at 1800 on Friday here. Also notice here that we've got the next feature coming in. Remember what I said, it's just one hit after the other. Uh, six hits in seven days seen by the GFS model. And uh, this is a pretty turbulent um, time for the UK and for Western Europe here as we go forward. Uh, let's have a quick look at the um, up close uh, chart um, and we'll see what's uh, taking place here. So let's go back to the current period here. We'll see... Uh, yesterday and uh, this morning system scoot on out cheerio to you we've got the next frontal system associated with low pressure near uh, near greenland uh, pushing through uh, during the course of tomorrow and then of course we've got um the main system storm dudley uh, storm number one it passes just to the north of scotland uh you know at midnight on thursday here nine fifteen three millibars and uh, very powerful winds um, just to the south of the centre. So it looks as if, according to the GFS, the core of the strongest winds are actually from about the central belt to the north coast of Scotland here. But, of course, the track 
uh, on the Met Office model and even the CMWF a little bit further south so it would put the core strongest winds through the central belt north of Scotland uh, or north of England should I say and that is where the model the, the Met Office have the warnings out we've got the widespread yellow warning then we've got the uh, the amber warning for the central belt extending down into the north of England here that system then exits of course and then we see the arrival of storm uh, Eunice here as we go towards uh, the Friday period so this is 3 a.m on Friday you can see here the heavy snowfall breaking out the system continues to deepen we've got very heavy snowfall central Scotland northwards even into the southern uplands here if you will and uh, very nasty conditions across the highlands if you notice but it's uh, this area of um that is most concerned here southern flank could see um, hurricane force wind gusts in excess of 75 miles an hour southern ireland wales southwest england right through the south coast along the channel and um you know yeah pretty extreme stuff here it looks as if we have got a lot of weather to come over the next few days here i think i've rambled on long enough i will look at the snow charts in tomorrow's video and uh, let's keep an eye on this keep it right here on youtube thanks for uh, watching and uh, of course please hit the like button and subscribe as well as hit the bell button for the latest uploads bye for now